Police say the suspect, Nasim Agdam, visited a local gun range right before the YouTube attack. Investigators say the weapon she used was a 9mm Smith & Wesson handgun and that it was legally registered in her name. Authorities are searching homes connected to the suspect in Riverside County and San Diego. Now we have team coverage on the YouTube shooting. ABC 7 News reporter Cornell Bernard is in Mountain View, but we begin with ABC 7 News anchor Dion Lim, who is live in San Bruno at YouTube headquarters. Dion? Larry and Ama finally were able to get a closer look at the YouTube campus today here in San Bruno, and we got a tip that there was a staff meeting held inside today, while on the outside, employees begin to pick up the pieces. Signs of activity at YouTube Wednesday with employees returning to campus to retrieve their vehicles. A far different scene from what happened Tuesday. Employees wouldn't talk to us as they were let back into the building to get their personal belongings. Quite a contrast to yesterday when 200 were evacuated after Nassim McDom entered the campus garage and opened fire on the patio. It was one after another. Boom, 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 boom. We have no indication that she was selecting individuals to fire at. Um, so whether that means she was firing randomly or not, we still have to work through that, but there is there's absolutely no link or relationship that we've identified between our suspect and anybody who was at the scene at the time of the incident. Three were injured before Agdam fatally turned the gun on herself. New today, promising news on the victims. We were able to discharge two last night. The one remaining patient who was in critical condition yesterday is now in serious condition. Police say there is no evidence linking Agdam to employees at YouTube. She was a frequent uploader to the platform, posting her workouts, some videos expressing her frustration and claims the company censors her content. I'm being discriminated and filtered on YouTube. Back out here live, another sign of recovery. We are seeing restoration crews with plenty of cleanup materials in and out of the building.